No. Thank you. Long time friend. Hi. Since first visit. Lovely to see you. Welcome. Not much change in your face. <laughs> Not much change in your face, either. <laughs> <laughs> Our ex minister. Very good. You from India? Yes. I met last time when you came. Right, right. right. Last visit. Please sit down. I'm okay. Oh. Hello. How lovely to see you again after all these years. I right, right, right. Changed. I had a possum running around my skin the last time I saw you. Right, right. He gifted the land to yes. you, His Holiness. Okay. And um, thank you. And the feather of our. Oh, right, right, right. Yes. <laughs> and the sharing with I, you. I think feather I put. Thank yeah. you. Ka. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Thank you. Earth. And the sharing of this land with you oh. for the blessing of my beautiful new grandson. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'll hold hmm? it. You can, you can hold it. So one time in Canada, also you see this kind of sort of city, the tradition, give you earth. Then I lived in sort of city, Kasuta. find it difficult where I put this. <laughs> no. That's very good. And it's very good for your skin. Thank you. you. look younger than what oh, you are. Oh, I see, I see. Perhaps some hair. <laughs> 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 Thank you. One, two. Get it on. Thank you. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen of Melbourne, um, it's a great honour. Um, as you know, the, the Dalai Lama came out to see us in Footscray two years ago, and he turned around and he said, I want to make a donation, and he looked at one of his aides, and I thought he said 100 euro, and I thought, oh, 100 euro, 100 dollars, and then someone whispered in his other ear, and he said, 100,000 dollars, and I went back and I ripped my pants, and lucky I had something to... Uh, <coughs> a present that I could hide the rip in front of 600 school kids. But when I went in to see the Dalai Lama just uh, prior to coming out here, I said, he said, do you remember me? I said, yeah, he gave me $100,000. Oh, you remember that? I thought, <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, yeah, a great sense of humour. With that $100,000, we've been able to put on some more youth workers, but more importantly, we've been able to assist uh, over 300 kids back into education this year. We have over 500 uh, young people who play basketball Wednesdays and Saturdays. We sponsor a, an African uh, school for five to 15 year olds every Saturday with 20 young people on the waiting list. And um, we also um, do some homework programs. I was uh, saying uh, earlier that um, last week I went and visited one of our prisons on the remand section. I had to speak to 80 young people on remand and, and it was quite tragic to think that these guys never worked, all been ex, you know, excluded from schools at very early age. And sadly, that prison at the Roman Centre has only been open two years, it's already full. And it's really in days like today, you know, when we've got politics fighting each other, being very personal, we've got wars all over the place. It's so fantastic to have a man such as the Dalai Lama who keeps on, no matter how adverse things are, for him and his people, but keeps on extending a hand of friendship 
and kindness and compassion. And so, with my great pleasure, I know he doesn't bury for the Western Bulldogs, but we're trying to get him there. Um, I don't know if Rodney Ead was here. He was there last time, and uh, he's, of course, gone to Collingwood and made for Melbourne. But it's my great honour to uh, welcome to, the, to you as the uh, great followers and devotees of um, the Dalai Lama, the Dalai Lama. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I better be good. <laughs>